Well, thank you, folks, for joining me again today. This is your host, ID Jester. We're going to go ahead and try out a brand new game called Legends of Dawn. It's supposed to be an open world RPG type game. Uh, kind of like, um, I'm assuming, like Neverwinter meets Oblivion, kind of. Uh, it's a Kickstarter game that uh, you can now download and purchase off of Steam. Until July 4th, I think it was. Uh, it's five dollars off, so normally twenty dollars. You can pick it up for fifteen dollars uh, for the next couple weeks. So let's take a look at it. I actually played about 10-15 minutes of it so far, but we're gonna go ahead and create a brand new character here. Whoa, I was naked there for a second. Human male, sure. Let's try that. Uh, randomize some stats here. 15, 15, 13. Sure, that looks good. I'm not going to spend a lot of time. Next hair. I like, hate your hair. Give me a different hair. Uh, that's awful. Uh, sure, whatever. Uh, next head. Let's see what we got here. Uh, can we zoom in? Yeah, I guess we can get a little closer. There we go. Oh my god, that guy is awful looking. There we go, that's a little better. Sure. Uh, difficulty, we'll start a normal, we'll generate a name here. Vit Dimmed Vit. Vit again already, so. Luca. Luca, yeah, sure, we'll be Luca. And we'll start the game here. Start the game, there we go. Alright, so basically the background premise of. The people broke it up into a bunch of pieces, and uh, through the ages, uh, people lost track of what, uh, how it was important and stuff, and now the world's in a shitload of trouble, and so um, now they're like, oh, what do we do, what do we do? Oh, hey, why don't we like try to put this like ancient artifact back together, because that sounds like a good idea, and maybe it'll help, uh, it'll help us, My so life. yeah, yeah. So, um, you can go ahead and, oh, that's great, I'm going to have to, yeah, okay, my keys are still the same, there we go. I need some supplies. Yes, we do that need ship some supplies. Look yeah, that ship looks like it might be a good idea. So, oh. right click, um, items, you can go ahead and click the little hand to get all the things. Drag them up. Pretty standard fare for any kind of uh, role-playing adventure game. There. Very All good. Right. All right. You could buy me a beer now. It's a custom in these lands for the traders in the village sell it. All right. So we got to go get this guy a beer. Yay for that. Um, there's other crates here. And I still haven't figured out what to do with this. I even got on the web pages today to try to figure out what the hell these are. I'm assuming these are different rune stones. And if you had these rune stones, you could put them in there. And if you did, then you would unlock some kind of special ability or whatever. Um, which is my guess. And uh, that's what I'm sticking with until somebody tells me differently. Uh, so we got a sword here and some other goodies. We're going to grab all that stuff. Sword does more damage, so we'll grab that. Any other uh, crates? Yep. Uh, we got another one that unlocks. See, this is a different kind of icon up here at the top. So I'm assuming like one's magic and one's fire or uh, combat. See, this is like a combat sword. So I'm not sure exactly. So uh, going to the village here, there is a map. So this is the famous. Yep, it is. There's a map, as I was talking about here. Let's see if we can get to our map. Which one's the map? Probably the M key, yeah. So here's a map. Tells us where we're at. There's the warehouse. So we'll head this way and go into town here and check things out. See what we can figure out. There's a couple yahoos over there. We can talk with. Here's a bow. That's nice. Let's grab a bow. Just one little crate. These, oh. Ooh, we got a rune stone and some thread. 
and a morning star and a bunch of other stuff. We'll go ahead and take all that stuff while we're looting things. We got another rune stone, a chipped amethyst, a bow, uh, some wood, and a silver ring. Looks like a bunch of stuff to sell. Let's see what these yahoos want here. Oh, yeah. Greetings, fellow sailor. Hey. Psst. Can you get us a drink? Wally Wally. <laughs> I'm a soldier of the Royal Guard. <laughs> Uh, nice. Let's see what this guy wants. Can you do? Do you want to talk with me? Hello, sir. Legends of Dawn. It's a Kickstarter game, and people uh, obviously kickstarted. Um, so far, not usable by female characters. <laughs> Runestone. So uh, yeah, grab all that stuff. We'll be able to sell it. There's different kinds of merchants, I guess. There's like an Elven Merchant Guild. There's the Northern Merchant Guild, and um, so your so your keys. You actually use your keys here to move, uh, and then you use your right mouse button to kind of rotate the map around. So um, just to kind of explain what I'm doing, here's another one of these things here. Of course, I can't see, and there's no tool tips. Um, this game, I think, was released too early, personally, on my own, uh, my own opinion. This is just my opinion, of course, but, um, some of the other sites, I've actually gone on other sites to try and figure out how to get these runestones to work, and try to look to see if anybody out there has some information. Basically, everybody's kind of thing works stuff. Um, kind of saying the same thing. It just seems very buggy at this point. Uh, and, and not very polished, shall we say. So we're looking for something. We're looking for an inn or something to buy some beer. Let's check our map again. Where are we? We're near the bridge. Here's a farm. So we're going to head up this way. Doesn't seem like uh, people care. You can just run around and grab their items. Uh, you can zoom in and out, but you see you've got like maybe 10 feet in and 10 feet out. That's kind of crappy. Um, okay, what else we got here? Here's another crate. Yeah, of course, people don't mind you just walking up and taking everything. We got a helmet here. Put a helmet on. Sure, why not? There's merchants of the different places. Uh, let's check our map again. See, we've uncovered some more. There's the end. We want to go this way. So, um, that's... Looks like the general direction we want to go, I think. Yeah, looks that way anyways. Opens the door. There we go. Some people in here we Hello, can talk soldier. with. What can I do for you? Oh, you can trade with me. That would be nice. Get rid of some of this crap. Dagger. Sell. What else we got here? Copper ore, bow, morning star. We might as well sell that. Um, I'm th there seems to be a lot of crafting because there's a crafting table here or whatever you want to call this tab so I'm not gonna try to sell too many things bow here only does four damage and sell that silver ring um, yeah might as well sell that 76 it doesn't give me any bonus so shirt uh, so yeah pants do I have pants let's look at our inventory our pants are five already so no better so we might as well sell it. Battle staff. Sell it. Pans. Same. Work stuff. Doesn't tell me what it does. Peasant cap. Four. What's our cap at? Oh, our peasant cap didn't go up there. For... Why are you not equipping? Oh, not usable by male characters. I guess it helps if you read. Alright, so we sold a bunch of stuff. Hopefully, can we get some beer? Want to buy some beer? Yes, buy some beer. We gotta 
course you're gonna just let me in the back room here and just loot all your stuff um so anyways about it not being very polished so a lot of times I've you know I've only played it for maybe 15 20 minutes before um, and I ran into lots of issues going to buy some beer now um, with the screen not going off or not the screen like the roofs not going off oh here's a beer we might as well grab that while we're here of course people don't really care if you run in the room and start stealing all their stuff that's a problem in my book it doesn't give you very good immersion into a real world it's more along the lines of oh ooh, here's a two-handed axe Try to grab all that stuff. If they want to create a role-playing game, you have to be invested in the world. You have to be, uh... Tell me what you have for sale. Um... Anything of value? Hmm. And we'll look at buying stuff later. Let's start and complete some quests here. Figure out... Like I said, I couldn't figure actually out how to um, <laughs> get these rune stones to work. Nobody seems to figure it out. And there's, I looked on the website, and unfortunately, it didn't have very good information on the website about, hey, here's what you do. There's no tutorial in the game. You're basically just thrown in. There is kind of a, I guess, a little tutorial, little messages that pop up and tell you, hey. Items can be hidden in many places from chairs, cargo barrels, you know, they kind of go over a few things with you here, but nothing about, hey, here's what you should do. Like, if you mouse over something, it should have a tooltip that says, runestone, used to create blah, 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 this is what you need to do. Or maybe even have a, um, I actually, watch out for these spiders, okay. Uh, I actually created a spell on my other character just by accident. I started just messing around and putting things together. Alright, let's see. Let's bring this beer back to this guy here. It's a lot of running around just for a beer, but, you know, whatever. Alright. Great. I'd offer you some, but I guess you're on duty. Look around the village and meet people while you wait for Sir Salivarm to return from his mission. More bad news for us these days. The mine in the out. My friends tell me the monster infestation around the village is larger than we thought. A tiny white spider is camped near the gate to the southeast. You're a royal guard. Go there and defeat it. Just remember these things. Left click to attack. Left At click? The what you do have you mean? No What's the left talent clicking? In the quick bar, you must defeat him with a cold weapon. Click on a dead body. They glow yellow to see items dropped by your enemies. Pick items up in your inventory. If your health gets low, use a healing potion if you have one. Okay. Pretty standard fair stuff there. Anybody that's played any kind of action, RPG, role-playing game should, uh... Item re Oh, okay. Item remove beer. Um, should be pretty familiar with that stuff. I guess we've got to go to the southeast. Bring up our little map again. Um... Southeast of the gates. There's a quest log here. No, that's skills. Um, that's how many creatures we've killed. Here's the Dwarven Chronicles. The Dwarves, I guess, were the only one that actually kept track of uh, where the little pieces went. Here's crafting menu. Here's our world map here. What do we got here? Here's our spells and achievements etc etc it's supposed to be a pretty big world it's an independent company that had made this so um you know uh i don't expect everything to be like world's greatest uh, obviously they probably don't have a very big budget but i don't think you should release a game quite early as they did when it doesn't seem to be as polished as it could be um I think what what probably had happened is they probably ran out of money or didn't have enough money to do everything they wanted to do, so they released the game, hoping that other people would buy it now that it's been released, like me. Uh, that's the only reason I bought this. 
the temple of Velas the Beautiful, goddess of vitality. She's part of the sacred trinity of Perun and Svarog. I must remember to make a sac... Okay, so... See, we got the roof disappears. I haven't... I haven't actually gone in there. The walls have all gone away. I can see what's in there. You ruined my immersion into the game by having crap like that pop up. Um, here's another building here. We can see what's inside the building. Because the walls disappear. The ceiling disappears. So, you know, I'm sure that's stuff that they can code back Marquis in. Marquis Cordellis, the once famous blue-blooded warrior now a pathetic old man. Seems like he's lost control over the mines the king gave his family as a reward for their victory. Okay, so the man is... So now we can go in there. Of course, we can loot every single thing he possibly has. Oh, this is a prison. What do you got to say? Hello. Okay, well, it's better than most people. Conversations, there's some voice acting. Let's go talk to this Yahoo. Good gods, royal guards, finally here in our small village. I welcome your unit's arrival and hope the trip was without undue duress. You'll need all your strength here. I already sent your father and the rest of his team on a mission. I've known and respected the captain before you were born. Come, there's a lot of work for you to do too. Uh, no problem. Glad Let's you go. made it all right. There's something you should do for me. People are easily frightened in times like this. Old Barillus, our gravedigger, abandoned the graveyard and spends his days rambling on about strange happenings. He says dangerous, unusual creatures appear there at night. He's definitely on the wimpy side, but I don't want to dismiss his warnings entirely. I ordered him to go back there, but this is the first time he's refused to obey me. Events at the graveyard must be worse than I thought. My men are busy with more urgent matters, so I'm assigning this task to you. Go there, scan the area, and report back with your findings. Do you think you can handle this yourself? All right, A anything word else? Of advice. Talk to Barillus and hear his account firsthand. You might even extract some new, possibly useful information. Oh, I almost forgot. Barlin Kabarlin wants to see you. I presume you know who he is. If not, it'll become obvious when you run into him. He can be a little pushy. Alright, so there's a couple guys we gotta talk to. We gotta go to the graveyard, kill probably a bunch of dead or probably a, oh, see. The mouse is a little twitchy too. Sometimes it like when you're rotating the mouse, it'll like keep locked on it even when you don't want to and so, um, alright, so we gotta kill the spider, we gotta talk to a couple yahoos. We, uh, okay, that's, you're not one of the ones I need to talk to. You're well, not. Well, look at that. The town center even has its own... Uh, you're not one of the guys I gotta talk to. You're probably all merchants. But he, yeah, still looking for this spider to kill, so, um... What are your, what's your name? Hello? Nope, not you either. Alright, um... Nope, we got more stuff to steal, or... Got a lightning bolt I could try to drag over here, that doesn't work. You can sort your thing, so I got a couple runes. Wish it would just tell me what the hell I need to do with them, or whatever, but... Let's see if either of these guys we need to talk to is here at the end. Yeah, walk in. Uh, what's your name, sweetie? No, nope. what about you? No, nope. what about you? No. Nope. No. Nope. What happened to the music? The music died. No. Nope. Okay, so nobody here we need to talk with. There's no kind of way of telling you where... Uh, which way your quest is? There's a quest. Uh, let's see, what was the quest? Let's try Q. There's our Q. So we got to kill the tiny white spiders, and then we got the information here. So there's a quest log. So if you forget what you're doing, obviously we can. Uh... So be sure to stop in next time. We're gonna 
play a couple episodes of this, Legends of the Dawn, and uh, see if we can figure out what the hell we're doing. And uh, we pulled out our sword. Do we have anything else? No. So um, we come back for episode two, and we'll get to check out some more Legends of the Dawn. Thank you for joining me for this episode, and we'll see you soon.